Okay, let's see what it looks like when somebody else signs us a task to do. So I had Carrie send off a task to me right now. Let me come up here, click on Send Receive. And this is what it looks like. I don't know if you can see the picture, but you got a little hand with a clipboard in it and then an envelope behind it, meaning you got a message where they're trying to hand off something to you. Oh boy. Task request weeding. Ugh, gets worse. Double click to open it up. And we can go down below and read the notes. Weeding the flower beds out front of the office building. Ugh, weeds, my favorite. She already got 5% of it done, or somebody did. And you can see it was assigned by her email address, due in three days. And then, of course, because she got a percent complete, it's in progress. Now, when you get an assigned task, if you want to find out if this person's going to be receiving updates, if you accept it, well, there you go, the respond group, you can accept or reject it with or without a message. But if you want to find out if they're going to be keeping an eye on you, then go to the show group, click on details, and oh, she checked those boxes where she wants an update here. So if I accept it, it's going to shoot and email her the update so she can keep track of those updates on her end. Let me go back to the task view. So even if I mark it like 1% complete, up from 5 to 6%, it'll immediately, once I save it, send off a 1% increase in the percent complete for her to gawk over and go, really, 1%? You can do better than that. So let me come up here, and I'm going to go ahead and click on Decline. And I'm going to edit the response before I send it. You know, type in an excuse because, hey, you know, we got to have an excuse for everything. Let's go ahead and select that and click OK. Opens it up. And you can see up here in the information area, no, I decline this task. All right, here's why. I don't know if she'll buy that, but that's what I'm sending off. I'm allergic to weeds. And then go ahead and click send and away it goes and we'll talk about those task updates that when you sign to somebody how you get it how it shows on your end in a later training video now at this point when she gets my decline she's got a couple options she can return this to her task list or she can go ahead and reassign it out to me again which is what I'm gonna have her do so that way I can show you what happens when I accept it and so you'll see that she's going to reassign it to me again. Click on Send Receive. Oh, it's just like a bad weed. It keeps popping up this task. Go ahead and double click. Aha, okay, I did my half. Now go and do yours, please. Let's see if she, oh, yeah, 50%. She updated it, did more work, and, oh, I better not reject it this time. That wouldn't be right. Better go do my portion here. So I'll come up here and click on Accept. And then I can edit the response, but let me just go ahead and send it without a reply. You know, it would be great if I said, happy to do it. That would be a lot more encouraging. But I'm just going to go ahead and click OK and send it off, and away it goes. So once you accept it, let's go down to our task folder. Okay, we had cleaning out the company fridge, but the one that we're going over is weeding. You can see the arrows pointing down into my task, the clipboard. That means I've accepted it. And so double-click to open it back up. And it's up to me to go ahead. It's now my responsibility to start marking off complete. And when I start marking it, well, either percent complete or come up here, mark it completely complete, Carrie's gonna get those updates. Details view, it's gonna go right to her. And we'll cover that in a later training video. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.